It's the final of the Davis Cup and no dream end to the career of Rafael Nadal. A dream end to the year for Yannick Sinner could be happening, but the Dutch are in his way. That's right, and if you haven't done so yet, smash a like, subscribe, let's get stuck into this. And Italy are into the second consecutive Davis Cup final, and it was thanks to the singles. It was Yannick Sinner defeating Alex de Menor 6-3, 6-4, and he secured the tie after earlier on in the day. Matteo Berrettini, an absolutely outstanding match in which he defeated Thanasi Kokonakis in two hours, 45 minutes. It was 6-7, 6-3, 7-5. Some incredible tennis on show from Berrettini. And one of the shots, if not of the year of the tournament, I don't know, this forehand chop cross court literally blew the crowd away. And it gave Italy the advantage at the time. And it was taken with ease by Yannick Sinner, who secured Italy's spot into the final with a straight sets victory over Alex de Menor. And he's just doing the same thing he's been doing all year long. He almost looks like uh, an AI robot out there. He looks like he's in expert mode and he can always put the ball somewhere on the court where his opponent isn't. And Yannick Sinner, yeah, is now 11 in 1. In a Davis Cup singles matches, pretty incredible. Uh, and his year just keeps on getting better. And if he doesn't lose his Davis Cup uh, final match to Talon Griegspor in straight sets tomorrow, he will be just the second man in the open era to play a full season of matches without losing in straight sets. Can you believe it? And that's after Roger Federer in 2005. Absolutely insane and you'd have to say you'd pretty much favor him to uh to do well in his singles he's been pretty good the whole year long and i'm i'm thinking that he should be able to get the victory but never say never because the dutch are into the final as well we had Boutik van der Zansup. He defeated Daniel Altmaier in three sets. It was 6-4, 6-7, 6-3. And, uh, yeah, it's their first ever final of the Davis Cup. And this was solidified in the second match from Talon Griegspor, who defeated Jan Leonard Struff. And this was another three-set match, 6-7, 7-5, 6-4. They went through the ringer. Uh, Yannick Sinner seems to be able to get it done pretty easily on the tennis court. These two, it was a real battle, but well done to the Netherlands. Uh, obviously, this is going to be uh, Wes Koolhoff's last ever tournament as well. So maybe we'll get to see him play in the doubles in the final if it is one apiece from the singles. But that's a big if as well. I would love to see him be able to compete one more time. Uh, Netherlands have made their first ever Davis Cup final after a 104-year history in the competition and after 185 ties played at this event. Liberation and it's, it's massive in the Netherlands right now. And you see the amount of support that came out for them even against Spain, against Germany. And it's going to be big. In the final as well, the this is from the quarterfinals all the way to the final. You see there, they defeated Spain 2-1, Germany 2-love, and they will face Italy in the final. Italy was 2-1 against Argentina, 2-love against Australia, and they are into the final. This is a list of all of the pre like previous winners. Italy looking to go back-to-back -back for the first time since the Czech Republic were able to do it. You see, 2012, 2013, there's been different winners every single year since then. And then you'd have to go back to 2008, 2009 for Spain doing it back to back. But yeah, it's it's not a very common thing to happen. You see Sweden there, 97, 98. For a country to win the Davis Cup back to back, it's a very difficult one to do. And it's all dependent on the players that you've got playing for you at the time. Players get injuries. It is towards the end of the year at the moment. So a fair play for Yannick Sinner, who's had a monumental year and he's just not giving up. 
If you want to know when it's going to be, it is going to be at 4 p.m. local time. If you're watching from the UK, that will be 3 p.m. So make sure to tune in and cheer on whoever you want to win. Do you want Wes Kulhoff and the Dutch to get their first ever? Or do you want to see the Italians back to back? I mean, it would be incredible. Either way, we're going to have some sort of drama at the end. And there's a nice graphic showing the players who will potentially be playing from both sides. I'm going to give my prediction on how I see this one going. I think Yannick Sinner will win his singles. There you go. Whoa, shocker for a prediction from me for Yannick Sinner. Uh, I'm not sure who's going to be playing in the other singles match yet. But I think that that's where this whole tie comes down to. That second singles match. They've actually looked pretty decent. Talon Griekspoor and Butik van der Zandstrup. It's just, can you get past either a Musetti or a Berrettini in this match? And if they do, then the doubles become super, super interesting. Because... Kulhoff, <laughs> if he gets a chance to get back on the court, they may well go on and win the damn thing. I think I'm going to be going with the Italians, though. And I think it will be two singles wins. I think Sinner will win in straight sets. And the second match, it will go all the way to a third set. But Italy will win to love. So that's my prediction. Tell me your prediction in the comment section below. Do you think the Netherlands can do it? Can they overturn the power that is Italy on a tennis court right now and the power that is Yannick Sinner? Can they spoil the party for the Italian in Turin? I want to know your thoughts. And if you haven't done so yet, smash a like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.